Hi there, my name is Seal Baker, the you rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And uh, so many things have aged badly. So many things have aged so, so badly. You know, I guess that's what happens when you have like this insane amount of confidence and arrogance in your in your ability. And you are completely, completely disconnected from reality at the same time. Uh, uh, you know, you have to wait till reality catches up with you with a nasty thing called metrics. <laughs> nasty thing called, you know, objective, uh, you know, objective uh, financial evaluation of, of your progress. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to be doing another one of those. This one says, um, is, is with Jodie Whittaker. The gift that keeps on giving. You know, listen, I if you like the Jodie Whittaker you're a doctor, God bless you. Nothing gets you. Hope you're enjoying it. I can't stand it. I can't stand it with every fiber of my being. Um, and uh, I do enjoy taking the piss. I do enjoy taking the piss out. Because, look, bottom line, bottom line, I, I just don't think... I don't think she's very clever. I think she's a bit dumb, really. That's the, yeah, that's why I think going. I just think that's why she said. Why does somebody say lots of stupid things? Uh, uh, because they're not very clever, you know. So that's why I think. I think I chip not. I don't know if he's clever or not, but whoa. Hasn't gone well for him, has it? Has not gone well. Anyway, if you like it, God bless you. Nothing against you. This might not be for you. This might. This video might not be for you. Yeah, you know, you know, click like anyway. Yeah, you know, go share it. Share it, uh, and you can show the people, you know, the other people, how terrible I am. So they should all follow me. They should all follow me and subscribe. Uh, you know, so they can see what I'm going to say. So they can cancel me. You don't want me this to go un you know, unaware. You want to hit the like button, hit the share button, mostly hit that subscribe button. It's right up there. Hit the subscribe button. And thank you very much. Uh, I'm very, very grateful for you subscribe for whatever reason, whatever reason that you you're subscribing. If it's a, if you're if it's a hate subscribe or if it's a love subscribe or just like hey, I'll give them a, I'll give them a sub. Why not? I'm really grateful. Thank you very much. Uh, um, if you if you subscribe, you know you uh, other than making me very happy. What what can I offer you? Yeah, what what, you know, what can I do to entreat you? Well, firstly, I have uh, weekly competitions. The prices I'm probably giving this away on Saturday night. I'm going to be be on Noel's channel, uh, the Tardis Zone. I think we're talking about Dalek Invasion of Earth, the movie. Ooh, I hope we are. I, I do like that movie. Um, so, uh, uh, yeah, so we're going to do the prize there. What is the prize? The prize is Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. The Two Towers, my favourite, the Lord of the Rings movie. Yeah, look, at, look how thick that, are, that is. They look gorgeous on your shelf. Uh, it's the four-disc set, which has the extended edition of the movie. It's like an extra, what, half hour to an hour? It's like a lot. It's a lot of stuff. Plus another two discs of uh, documentaries telling you about the makings of. Uh, and it's a really nice booklet with all these, uh, you know, uh, production art in it. It's just absolutely lovely. It's a great package. All you need to do to win it is um, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel and... Uh, uh, subscribe to the channel and in the comments leave the hashtag Helms Deep Helms Deep uh, and as I said we'll do the prize draw on, on Saturday uh, pro yeah I think Saturday is when it's going to go down uh, also listen there's a big uh, this is we've been to uh, this uh, we're called the Yom and the Ryan. these are the the high holy days in the Jewish year lots of big festivals but there's a special day for non-Jews that uh, uh, back in the days when there was a temple in Jerusalem uh, non-Jews would come to Israel, uh, Israel come to Jerusalem and they would offer sacrifices did you know that? We, we, Judaism was a big sacrificial religion. In fact, basically, what you did at the temple, uh, it's a bit, bit of a side, I don't know, what you did at the temple is you went and you had a steak dinner. <laughs> That's just really what it was. So, yeah, vegans, mm, I don't know what to tell you. I think, I, I think you can give... Uh, uh, sacrifices of uh, of green as well, which okay, I think yeah, guess it works. Over anyway, so uh, uh, that day is coming. If you have any prayer requests, and I, this is I make no judgment on you whatsoever. If you believe in God, if you don't believe in God, whatever whatever you want in life, I am happy to pray for you. Uh, I don't know. Listen, it might work, it might not. I don't know. Listen, it, it, it might work. I, I might be wrong about everything. We can, we can, we can, I think we can all agree there that you know that's a uh, uh, that's a statement that doesn't get any you know, uh, uh, prophetize, which is really what I'm doing. I'm just kind of offering you guys. So if you have any prayer requests sent to me, in the strict of the confidence, don't worry, I'm not going to tell anybody, uh, you know, what, what you, ah, uh, please, Rabbi, could you pray for my rectal warts? <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I'm not, whatever it is. No, I won't tell anybody. <laughs> Between you and me, uh, you can get me on, on Twitter, on Facebook, uh, or email. It's all, all right down there in the video notes. Just go in there. It's all my, all my contact information. Uh, uh, is that you know, which is really funny, you know, it's like people like that. People, people often like to say, ah, you like to hide between an behind an avatar. Like, this might 
my freaking email address is down there. You know, like, what more do you want? I don't think I can be any more open with you there. Fine. So, yeah, let's look at this segment uh, uh, called, Oh Boy, Didn't Did, uh, uh, you know, This Age Badly. So this is from a Radio 1 interview, I believe, from uh, just before Season 12 came out. So let me cast your mind back to Season 12, because quite a lot has happened in the world. You know, quite a lot has happened since, since December, right? Uh, you know, I, the world's been in turmoil. I think things have got a bit weird. But back then, back then, when they were gearing up for Season 12, they thought it was going to be freaking awesome. They thought Season 11 was... Ah, people didn't really quite, it was okay, people didn't like it, they didn't, you know, they thought it needed a bit more action, more adventure, more monsters, they thought, oh, we're going to beef it up, and they're going to love it, they're, everyone's going to love it, that's why they didn't like, you know, it didn't do so well, that's why the ratings, you know, dipped so much, uh, they had no idea how bad it was going to get, didn't they? they had no freaking clue, like, the uh, the free fall, the ratings, like, the lowest ratings, the lowest ratings in the revival, I think the lowest ratings ever, other than two episodes in 88, 89, Battlefield, right, I mean, like, and that's just you know the over, if we're going over nice and that it's really really dumb. So they, but back then they thought it was going to be great, and they thought we Doctor Who fans were going to freaking love it. They thought we were going to embrace it the heart in our heart and. Uh, uh, <laughs> and so, yeah, that's the mindset they have coming in with this interview. So this is a funny interview. Um, it starts off uh, talking about how she's on the, was on the Graham Norton show uh, a year ago. Yeah, everything they reference is from like a year ago. All the public, it's, it, yeah, everything they reference back then. I think. Um, and, and yeah, so that's, that's just where where we'll start the clip from. So yeah, it's about uh, ten minutes twenty three seconds in. If you want to see it all in in context on uh, on YouTube, it's uh, I don't know. Uh, if you want to search on YouTube, it's called More Heroic Doctor Who. Jodie Whittaker on her not so epic poster poses. Oh God, who knows? Okay, let's see what she says. So she's on Graham Norton talking about uh, where she's from, which is Shetland or something. But she says, uh, uh, well, let's see what she says for herself. Oh, are you a shat lass? <laughs> yeah, that that was what she called. Uh, are you a shat lass? That's where she's from. Uh, uh, and the answer is yes, darling. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry to tell you. You you're a bit you're a bit of a shat lass. You are indeed. You are indeed. Yeah, I'm glad you're smiling. I'm glad you're smiling. We're gonna have a lot of this. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm from Shat, <laughs> and there's Shat Taxi, <laughs> Shat Pizza. There's yeah, Shat Doctor. There's all Shat everything. Look at that. So uh, yeah, that that didn't age very well, did it? <laughs> that didn't it age pretty badly. Shat everything. <laughs> yeah, there's Shat everything. There's only a Shat Doctor. Yeah, this is Radio One. I love the videos of you going to schools and seeing kids' faces. Okay, so this, this is from, uh, I think, after the woman who fell to earth had, had debuted, and nobody really knew how bad it would be at the time. Uh, go and check out the Spacebook. Uh, Dan, uh, Dan had this channel, the Spacebook, where he did a retrospective of the woman who fell to earth. Because when I watched it, I was really opt I want. I was really good to it. I was really optimistic that because I wanted it to be good. I thought this was a work, and I thought. It wasn't a t in my mind. It wasn't you know a terror website. I had no idea uh, the direction it was going going. Uh, so he had a, he, he had a, a like a retrospective of it uh, where, where they like watched it again. I, I can't I'm, I can't do it. I couldn't do it. I was going to w watch it, but I just couldn't get. Into, I couldn't even go and watch it. The uh, yeah the retrospective of it uh, because now I know where it's going to go. I think it's going to be a much weaker episode. When I watched that time, it was like we're really optimistic, and it for me you know because I'm a guy who likes to. Um, I like to like, like judge, things, judge things favorably when, you know, when I can. I really, really do. I think it's a better way to live. I just think you're going to be happy if you do that. So I really, and it wasn't, I even gave them a pass for Arachnids in the UK, right? Which was awful, awful. A freaking terrible episode in every way. Uh, it wasn't until like next week or so I said, yeah, this is not good. This is pretty, pretty bad. But there, yeah, so all the publicity, again, look at this guy's face. He's like, oh my God. Uh, they, yeah, you're excited when the new Doctor Who walks in and you don't know it's awful. I wonder if they'll be able to get a room full of people today. So, yeah, let's have a look. Uh, let's watch this clip. Just light up. I, I have to say, I am always more excited. <laughs> and I'm like really screaming. Uh, really? Are you, if you're more excited, why didn't you try going to Comic-Con? Uh, you know, again, you want to try that? Uh, you want to try meeting fans, like unvetted fans? Normally, when, when you meet fans now, uh, it's a... Uh, it's some kind of like drugged brainwashed kid, <laughs> six year old, that they push in front of you with a broom and then pretend she likes you or he likes you or whatever. It's maybe she, you know. Me and Hyper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, okay. They'll be screaming. They'll be screaming. Not the same way. Now it's like, ah, ah, not like, ah. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's not, it, again, again, 
Try doing that now. It does that. Listen, I really, okay, this is why I don't think she's very smart, right? Hasn't she noticed she hasn't done this? <laughs> they didn't let, let, let her do this again, like uh, meet unvetted people uh, in prior to season one. Didn't, they, didn't she notice? Uh, no, I don't think she did, because I don't think she's very clever. I'm always on the first in the loudest. Oh my God, oh my God, it's you. It's you. Okay, a bit starstruck. Oh God, that poor kid. Hey, okay, this kid knows, knows what's up, okay? I like this kid. More of him. He's like, oh crap, really? Let, let's zoom in on that. That's brilliant. Oh, his face is fantastic. This kid's like, oh, really? Bloody hell. God, I've got to pretend I like her now. Crap. Okay, I don't know who this kid is, but he's the only one who's uh, maintained his street cred. That other kid, the other kid, the boy who screamed. Yeah, I think he's destined to be like uh, uh, unshaggable. You know, that's like, I think she's cursed him with a terrible, terrible affliction. I've loved all that and I've loved the f uh, Okay, now he's okay. <laughs> when I first got it, I was like, I was recognised in a cafe and this girl said to me, I could see a clock when I was like, oh, it's the first Hoovian. Okay, somebody told her Doctor Who fans are called Hoovians, right? Somebody told her that. I don't know, listen, I've been a Doctor Who fan since I can remember being a person, you know, like, I remember, like, I remember watching... Uh, okay, my earliest memory of uh, watching Doctor Who on TV was a rerun of The Horns of Nyman during a summer, right? It was in August. I remember it was, it was around my birthday. Uh, and I was young. I was like, I don't know, whatever year it was, whatever year it was. But my earliest, earliest memory was from a few years earlier, uh, meeting Tom Baker at a uh, uh, at a book signing. With, yeah, the lines going around the building for it. Uh, and he was there in full costume and he was fantastic. He was Tom Baker. Uh, he was the doctor, and that kind of blew my mind. Yeah, I don't see that happening so much for you, Jody. Uh, yeah, so she met somebody uh, in a cafe who recognised her before. Okay, note, everything's from before she started, right? Everything. Let's see how she would interact now. And um, I had, I'd just been announced, I hadn't even done it, and she was uh -huh. like, oh, I really wanted Ben Wishaw. Yeah, you know, because here's the thing, here's the thing. Uh, um, uh, terrible people work in the entertainment industry uh, who are racist and sexist, right? They're, they're scared of black people, they're scared of women, they're scared of men. At the same time, they do want to be abusive to black people and women, but they're also scared of somebody pointing out that they're uh, uh, racist and sexist. So they, they like very loudly say, oh, I'm not racist and sexist. So, you know, they figure, they, anybody, you, they figure that, uh, you know, if you're, if you have a certain skin color, a certain g uh, gender, whatever, you could only relate to a character that shares those very, you know, surface, you know, characteristics. Uh, and she just found out, no, <laughs> yeah, like, you know, um, uh, yeah, no, that, that, that's not how, you know, human beings work. Uh, so yeah, yeah, they keep talking about it, about Doctor Who being, and the BBC being more inclusive, You've got to represent everybody. My contention is they're representing the least people ever. They are representing the tiny 1% of the blue checkmark Twitterati. You know, that those that live on Twitter, right? That's who they're representing. You know, Doctor Who isn't for kids, isn't for normal people. It's for mothers who read The Guardian, right? Mothers who read The Guardian uh, who want to put their kids down in front of you know, You know who it's for? I'll tell you exactly as well. I'm sure, you know, you've seen that, that uh, clip going around the internet of a woman in a car screaming, like, scream, ah, because uh, 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 Ruth Bader Ginsburg uh, passed away. Uh, and yeah, of course, I, you know, I disagree with many of her things, and not that I know anything about the law, but uh, hey, she's a Jew, very proud, very proud, uh, and I have nothing bad to see her, I say anything. But she, she saw this woman in the car going, ah, ah, and, she, and knowing that, you know, the current president's gonna pick the next uh, uh, Supreme Court justice, and yeah, they probably, they're all gonna go, but they, that's who this Doctor Who's made for. That teeny tiny group of insane people that can't deal with the world not being the way that they are. Fine, so let's keep going. And I was like, do you know what? You might get him. <laughs> oh, soon. Jess, you might get, yeah, she might, she might. Listen, I'm hoping this October is going to be her farewell tour, right? I'm really hoping, you know, that that is indeed what's going down with this Comic Con and, uh, uh, appearance. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh. Uh, I was like, but do you know what? You might get Oh, yeah. Days. Look at that. She knows the most basic thing about Doctor Who. How impressive. Very, very good, Jodie. And the, mm -hmm. the thing is, there's someone for everyone out there. and ev Yeah, yeah, darling. There may be someone for everyone. There's a lid for every pot. You don't seem to be the lid for most of Doctor Who fans' pot, okay? You, you yeah, most of, the, most of us really don't like you anymore. I'm sorry. Uh, we were, uh, listen, I think that I think it broke down like this. People were ready to put up with you. 
uh, you know, uh, even even at the end of season eleven, you know, it was it was like, eh, we've had bad Doctor Who. They, I don't, it took takes a while to get you know get red pilled, right, to understand how freaking it took me a while. You know, it takes people a while, but it, it takes like a, a a seismic moment. Like Game of Thrones, it took um, uh, essentially the 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 you know the last season. I think the last two or three episodes. Uh, uh, destroyed that incredibly valuable um, uh, piece of yeah piece of uh, intellectual property. It really did. Yeah, last year I pretty much destroyed uh, as Star Wars. It takes like yeah a seminal moment. And for Doctor Who, it was the Timeless Children. The Timeless Children was yes awful in every way. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I don't think yeah there's somebody for everyone. Uh, could you go? find somebody who you're the person for jody because it's not us it's not us you know uh let's keep going everybody's doctor is out there and yeah. that i'm never not going to be somebody's doctor as well what you're never not going to be somebody listen yeah yeah there's yeah, there are people there are there, there yeah there are children who uh who get nailed down in front you know in front of the tv by their guardian reading mother in between screaming <laughs> screaming things on car videos right there are with there are kids like that like, like I don't think there's many of them, though. I don't think... I Listen, uh, when, I, when, when I was a, a wee young Doctor Who fan, um, Nicola Bryant was, uh, was, was in Doctor Who. Oh, this, this will be... Uh, was 82, 83. And I was like 13, right? I was about 13 at the time. Jez hitting pu puberty as a squeezed uh, Nicola Bryant, who was a very attractive young lady. It's still a very attractive, you know, uh, old lady, but very, very attractive young lady into like this incredibly tight spandex and short shorts and heels. Uh, and then had her running up and down the streets of uh, of London uh, or wherever, or Varos. <laughs> so anyway, uh, being the age I was, uh, she's, she's, okay, she's stuck with me today. I'm nearly 50, right? She, I'm looking at her action figure. It's above my desk, right? Uh, she's totally stuck with me today. She's part of my psyche forever. She will be, for you, will be permanently part of my, uh, 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 my sexuality, right? And listen, it's, it's, it's just the way it is. I'm sorry. Um... I think there's more people in that position. It's the same position to me that people are going to say, oh, you're always my doctor, Jody. Oh, really? I think you stopped being people's doctor when, uh, yeah, you know, quite quite a few times. Maybe the time when you said, oh, doctor, yeah, I'm worried about cancer coming back. Can you inspire me? Go, yep, I can't do that. Oh, I don't know. I feel a bit socially bloody awkward. Ah, yeah, yeah. Not very heroic. Not very. People tend to want their heroes to be. Heroic, yeah, <laughs> not uh, not run from uh, 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 heroism. So funny, this video is called More Heroic. Well, they got pl plenty of room room to grow there. Let's keep going. Sure. So when you've got a huge ego, you know that even you know when I'm like seventy, you have a huge ego. Clearly, clearly, because you love breaking that glass ceiling. Don't really like doing your job so much, though, do you? God, someone will be like, "That's my doctor." <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, it ain't good. Okay, darling, darling, it's not going to happen. Okay, it's not. They they may say that when they're seventy, but you know they're going to be. Uh, uh, deranged and drawling in some kind of uh, uh, like Arkham Asylum type, type nursing home. That's pretty much, yeah, pretty much where I expect to see them. <laughs> there was an, there was an element. And I, I like the way that they uh, uh, just yeah, put a bit of Murray Gold soundtrack in. Because that sounds like Doctor Who, not like... <laughs> uh, of uh, whatever his name is. Uh, I don't think Chris Jim really cared what his name is, well, other than to say it uh, correctly uh, so he can get get woke points. I just think he really cared about his skin colour. Honestly, he didn't think, hmm, was this guy going to be good for Doctor Who? Uh, can I give him... And he can't give him direction. He was like, can I give him direction? No, I can't give him direction because, oh, I'm a white man. I'm part of the patriarchy. And he's a poor, suffering black man uh, who has suffered under my oppression. I can't give him any notes. And so we got... <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, uh, not so good. <laughs> Sorry, let's see. Of being on the lunch boxes and all the toys and whatever with. Yeah, all the toys. Uh, how, how's the how's the merchandise sales going, Jody? How's that going? You ever heard of Time Lord Victorious? Yeah, that's what they. That's the emergency measure they had to do because nobody wants to buy anything with your face on it. No matter how much you enjoy it. This. But you also get to be in a Madame Two Swords, right? <laughs> yeah. Is that yeah. for you the moment where you went? Oh, I might be a bit famous. Am yeah. I famous now? 
I, okay, it was probably easy to make a waxwork of her because let's face it, let's face it, you know, uh, she is a bit of a blank slate of a human being, isn't she? You know, like, uh, yeah, like it's got a little bit more. I can't tell if that's a real one or the waxwork because it's got a lot more charisma. I think that's the real one, right? But it could be the waxwork. It, honestly, yeah, they but they wheeled out the Tom Baker waxwork for the photo show, shoot of uh, the Five Doctors. Maybe maybe we could do that with Jody. Yeah, that also helped with social distancing. There you go, there you go, Chimnall, BBC Cardiff. I just showed you how you can film a new series of Doctor Who, and it'll probably have a more lifelike style. Yeah, stuff like that's bizarre because it becomes a part of your random filming schedule. And they're like, oh, just so you know, you know you're not shooting the first two hours of the day. It's because you're going to go get measured for your wax work. <laughs> you know? Okay, so wait, wait, wait. She's like, she's trying to get her head around the idea that that she has more than one thing on her schedule. Really? Like, like, and look, okay, yeah, let's look at this face. This is, this is Jodie Whittaker's doctor trying to work something out. Yeah. Yeah, that might be why the uh, uh, the ratings have uh, have dropped away. Yeah, you know, quite quite a lot, haven't they? They've dropped away quite a lot now, haven't they? Let's keep there. Doink. Okay, let's see what else you gotta say. What? And you're gonna get your blue Peter badge. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're gonna do everything you're gonna love about this this role, apart from playing it well and uh, and having people enjoy it. Okay, this is the process. I've got to take it all in. That is some artistry. It is. Well, for me, standing still was an absolute miracle. But as I had to stand there, they measure everything. You learn things about your face you never knew. Yeah, we, you know, honestly, we don't want to know it. We don't really care. We don't want to know. Uh, uh, here's, here's what, what I know about your face. I don't really like it that much anymore. I didn't mind it when you started. Now, whenever I see it, you know, it's like, if there isn't. If there's any, if there's ever a reason that I want to lose an, a, yeah, an erection, and being my age, being my age, when you get an erection, you kind of want to treasure it. You kind of want to nurture it. You want to go, oh, I'm so proud. Look at you all by yourself. Uh, uh, so yeah, you very rarely you you want to curtail, uh, curtail that. Uh, if you ever have, if you're ever in a situation where you know, you're perhaps you're a younger person and you have an erection and it's somewhat embarrassing, uh, think th think of it. Think of this little little pudding. Look at this pudding. This will uh, this will drain the blood from from. Uh, uh, for, uh, for many, even the, even the most horny member. I've got a really wonky mouth. And I'd always right. thought like, why do people like draw lipstick halfway up my face? Because it's like, oh, they try to even out my mouth. Well, I didn't know till that it was really wonky, but they showed me the measurements <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, it is. And you've got to do your poster poses as well. And oh, yeah, my poster poses. What's the doctor pose? My doctor pose very often gets edited somewhere before because it's more like that. Like, it's kind of, and they're like, do you know what? Hi. Yeah, exactly. Okay, listen, Jody, Jody, Jody. Let me explain, let me explain. This is how uh, you want to play the Doctor, right? This is how you want to play the Doctor. And it's not very good. It's not working out well. It's not very good. Uh, how they want you to play the Doctor is like, you know, look at the picture behind you, right? They edit out your uh, uh, your, your creative take on your Doctor Who pose because it's so not Doctor Who. Again, the Doctor is a hero. A hero. You play it not like a hero. You play it like a... Idiot. Yeah, I'm like a dolt. <laughs> They're like, do you know what? Let's go for maybe a bit more heroic. I'm like... <laughs> so we go through... Listen, if you can't... Okay, your job is an actor! Okay, you are an actor! This is your profession! People are paying you a large sum of money for this, right? And, and you don't know how to be heroic. You don't know how to play a national hero that is heroic as a hero. You can't even pretend to be a freaking hero. Look, I remember I saw Jerry Brett, who's my fav one of my favorite Sherlock Holmeses, uh, being interviewed. Uh, and he said, and he said look, look, yeah, obviously I'm not a genius, but I do know how to pretend to be a genius. And he did all like the, mm, the hand movement stuff that he did to show him thinking or something. Yeah. That's just me pretending, because he's an actor. You act, you have to, this is your job. I mean, this is your freaking job, to pretend to be a hero. And if you can't do it, maybe the job isn't for you. Maybe they will, you know, also, if you can't run down a corridor, really. I mean, did you notice after the series 11, they only had her running on shaky cam? Yeah, because like, it looks awful. The photo shoots are, I mean, for me, it's not the highlight of my day, that. I love it when I get one and I think, oh yeah, that's good that. People will relate to that one. <laughs> well, I would love to. No one relates to anything, darling. No, that's a bit of No one relates to anything you do. See like a photo where it's like. <laughs> yeah, 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 all that. Oh. Yeah, okay, again, zoom in. This is, you, you, this is your doctor. This is your doctor right there. 
That, that's it. That's who your doctor is. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Not very heroic. But, you know, if you're a mum, yeah, if you're a mum who's, like, buying some piece of Doctor Who merchandise and you get the wrong thing, you know, for your kid who's a Doctor Who fan, that's the expression that you have. Yeah, because that's who you freaking are. Hopefully. Save the well, world? Yeah, yeah, maybe. You also get to do one of my favourite things on the internet, which is when you get to go to, like, photo shoots, going... Oh, you bob up behind them when they're talking. Yeah, you did that up until you, you turned up on screen, right? You didn't do it so much after that, did you? No, you didn't. I wonder, and yeah, all these exciting... All, this, okay, isn't that a little hint for you, Jody? that, like, all these excited faces kind of just vanished? Kind of just vanished from view. Did you think, oh no, no, yeah, yeah, we love you even more now that we've seen you, but yeah, let's let's keep away from me, everybody now. Talking about yeah. Nah. And welcome to Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm not shy. <laughs> it may it may come across. Not all actors are, you know, kind no. of this bit sits comfortably with them. I've landed on my feet here because I uh, yeah, they've all been fine with it. <laughs> like, Capaldi was wonderful. Capaldi was wonderful. Matt Smith was wonderful. David Tennant was wonderful. Eccleston, uh, yeah, he was out the door before you know, you know, before he arrived, really. Uh, but again, look, again, look, if she can grab a child, if she can grab a child and pretend, pretend it likes her, the child, yeah, the child likes her, uh, she's very happy. I love a chat. Sure. And I love those kind of yeah interactions. exactly oh you're so great all okay, right well, yeah we haven't seen your episodes yet you didn't wear a doctor who t-shirt we need to talk about that i mean we've all seen and have you noticed there aren't so many jody doctor who t-shirts really i wonder why that is it's just yeah nothing happenstance right just yeah, who knows why see my reaction to world champion johnny Vulcan from coldplay so i i understand it i get it sounds lovely and Oh, you understand people being more famous than you and you being excited to see them. Actually, I never saw this Coldplay thing before. Because, uh, yeah, I didn't really care. Didn't really care at all. It was all yellow. Really oh, my God, I'm going to cut my out. <laughs> Oh my god. Hello. I'm 36 and I sound I feel like I'm 13. And so people's reactions are brilliant. But there's also the ones that go like that who can really Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Brace it. I bet you get this reaction a lot now, Jody. They get it and they go, hi yeah. And you're like <sighs> And the energy just is like <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you get a lot of those, don't you, Jody? You get a lot of people going, hi. Uh, I don't know what I would do if I met you. I'd be like, I don't. Well, I wouldn't be rude. But I was like, I would love. To, I would love to interview Jody Whittaker. Oh my god! I would be my first question. Like, so, so how do you think it's going? <laughs> that would be my first question. How, how, how do you think it's going, darling? Yeah, how do you think it's going? Good. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> ah, like I do the scream, and I'm like, I'm here, and they're like, oh great. Yeah. Yeah. He said this was going to happen. Like, one of them did. I said to my husband this was going to happen, you know, before we came in. And I was like, right, great. So those are the funniest because you're, like, you're really trying to, like... You're too clever, aren't you? Yeah, you've got to try and, like, get the energy going. Yeah, yeah no, you suck the energy out of the room because you're freaking awful as a doctor. I, mean, I wish you would just understand how freaking awful you were as a doctor. For all of us. Come on. But I love it. But we had another event in San Diego for her universe where people... Yeah, yeah, this was, again... Before she aired as Doctor Who, right? Before anybody knew who she was. Uh, we were all excited. I was excited then. But what? why has there been nothing since? Oh, must be, must be because of the pandemic, right? Yeah, just because of the pandemic. No, no, no other reason. No other reason. People create their own costumes over the year and they get showcased and model them. And I was going to be a guest to talk about a costume. Mm -hmm. So I said to the incredible presenter, who was lovely, I said, please, can you... Why didn't you say her name? I think it was, it was Ashley Eckstein, whose company it is. Why did they, you could say her name. Uh, you yeah, could plug a company. Pretend that I'm an extra model and that I'm going to just come on. So DJ Amanda Jones, um, can you play uh, the, the Doctor Who music? I was what was she wearing? That's really bizarre. Okay, but let's keep going. I was like, this will be it. So I get to end and I'll also be able to do a catwalk. <laughs> and, <laughs> and so we try and practice. And then I'll be able to get... All this is cute. All this is cute if... Uh... Uh, uh, you were good in the role. All oh, this would have been cute and delightful. If somebody was uh, absolutely terrible in the role, not so much, darling. Not so much. Not so great, is it? Uh, and look, she walked on. It's obvious already from how she's wearing the hood that uh, that, that she's Jodie. Like, I've I, I worked out. It's the end, and then I'll lift my hood. As, 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 a, but, as has the entire audience, right? The entire audience has worked out is Jodie Whittaker. There was a very spine-tingly moment where it was only about three steps in that you could tell that there were just maybe loads of Whovians there. Whovians? Again, can somebody please tell her, just say Doctor Who fan. 
Sorry, just say Doctor Who. And look, she didn't even. Okay, carry on. Oh god, just look at the smugness on her face. I'm the Doctor now, whether you like it or not. I mean, okay, again, let's zoom in. We're gonna zoom in. Yes, oh, I am woman, hear me scribe. Oh, God, she's freaking awful. She's so awful. But again, just look at the arrogance on her bloody face there. Uh, like, yeah, see, here's the thing with uh, with SJ Jarvis, with the social justice warriors. They will, uh, they will claim victory at the first moment, and they will not wait to see how things go. Uh, that face basically says all that, doesn't it? Because I had my head down and everything, and I get on the tube all the time, and no one looks at me, so I, I know. Yeah, because you, okay, because you're so freaking boring. You're so ordinary. You know, you and Brie Larson are the most ordinary people I can think of, and I, and, and, you know, it just neither of you strike me as being particularly heroic in any way, shape, or form. And yet, you you love to bang on about what a wonderful action hero you are. I know the do not have any presence walk, mm -hmm. so that was brilliant because it was so comic yeah the do not have any presence walk i think it's something you've been doing quite some time quite some time certainly it's something you've you've, you've uh, mastered on doctor who because you have zero presence in that con in its sense of it was one-to-one -one with the fans but mm -hmm. in a way that yeah H have you have you done that recently darling you, you've gone one-to-one -one with the fans recently nah you haven't have you but i don't think that thought has cost your brain because you're a moron that's why we were at an event celebrating them and it wasn't about us so stuff like that is it is. this show also allows you to go to anywhere anywhen right yes are there any classic kind of movie and tv cliches that you'd still love to do <laughs> I want to slide down the waterfall into the pirate ship water with Goonies. I basically just want yeah. that slide. Or I'd do sloths like swing. Oh. I would love to see her do this, because she'll be awful at it. I would love to see it. Actually, I'd start at the beginning, because I've seen it so many times, I'd know <laughs> how to get through all the booby traps. You know, wouldn't it be great? Wouldn't it be great, Jodie? Wouldn't it be fantastic if, uh, if you know, you saw Doctor Who as much as you've seen uh, Goonies? If you understood Doctor Who in the same way you understood Goonies? I mean, you know, it is your job, after all. It is your job. But, but no, no, not so much. OK, I guess not. I'd be fine. It'd be a really quick escape room style, because I'd be like, nailed it. Yeah, you do seem a little bit impressed with your own abilities there, don't you, darling? You've only just got started, obviously, but are there any mementos that you've managed to sneak home? Yes, the last season. <laughs> okay, she hasn't only got started, she's halfway through her reign, and I think she might be halfway through it entirely, right? I think it might be, I think the nightmare might be nearly over. Uh, I'm hoping that October, October the Comic Con, uh, it's when she's going to announce, oh, with the tear fly, with COVID, it's time to move on, move along. In the Norwegian episode. Oh. oh, yeah, that's the one with the father who abandoned his daughter uh, and it was all done by a interdimensional hypnotoad. Yeah, that's the one. OK, great. Oh, nice fjord. That is a fjord, isn't it? You don't often see the detail in the houses. And there was some really odd interiors and there was this quite creepy wooden fisherman statue and i took that <laughs> that's called stealing isn't it didn't you just was this a location and you just stole something from it i mean darling darling you're playing doctor who maybe you shouldn't get into petty larceny really uh, really what the hell <laughs> <laughs> and only I know it's from Doctor Who. I love those ones. I don't even know if it featured. Sonic Screwdriver? Nah, I'm good. This random oh, fish man. I get lo I've got loads of these. Send me toy. I've got one of them. <laughs> yeah, this was the moment when I still thought Doctor Who might be good. Yeah, they, they, they just, I thought it was a bit bland, but I didn't know how bad it was going to get. Hello. I have to tell you, cinematography, excellent, isn't it? I mean, pff, I can't, can't argue with it. It, it kills me that, you know, these great artisans are being wasted on this dross. You, I've missed you. Yeah, I miss Doctor Who too. When you do the Doctor, when you're playing her... <laughs> you haven't done the Doctor as yet, when you do the Doctor... Okay, I got it here. You've done yourself up. Do you learn little tidbits, like random bits of detail about the character and all the lore? Very nice. Is Chris telling you stuff? Yeah, it's a bit of everything. We have set visits where people come to the TARDIS and we show them round, and I think they're very often surprised at the detail. Start believing. 
So say I'm doing something like well, we're about to travel or I'm trying to locate some moment in history or in the future and I'm using a dial. I know where to go, but from the way it's cut, uh -huh. there's not necessarily... Okay, so again, again, you're, you're pretending that the TARDIS is a functional instrument. It's, again, that's your job! You're supposed to do that! That, okay, that's what... I don't know! I, I, I don't understand why she thinks this is impressive. E, I do my job like! Aye, it's really good! Kind of Edgar Wright click. Duh, duh. You, you know, we don't get to go, right, this is the turning key, this is this, this <laughs> is this, this is the button. But I know it, amazing. and there is then... So amazing. It's amazing. You know what button does, the thing the button's supposed to do. Amazing. Sometimes it's like, oh, we're going to shoot this side. It's like, can't shoot that side, I'm afraid, because this is where I need to press this button. You're doing this deliberately, aren't you? Who are you talking to? I mean, honestly, I like... I like... It's not like we haven't seen your Doctor Who. We know there's no uh, authority or believability or authenticity in your performance. So that you've got one thing that you are vaguely authentic about. Again, not really that not really that impressive, is it? If it's me, if it's me I haven't touched anything. I'm talking to the TARDIS. It has to be like that for me. I have to know that that does that, that does that, and that there is a very set route. That. Yeah, that's why I think she can't use a sonic screwdriver. Whenever, you, whenever she uses a sonic, it's clear that she's going, that's doesn't know what she's doing, right? Because she doesn't believe it can have many functions. They're like, somebody should, somebody should put, say, if you hold it this way, it does this, is this way, this, it can... Someone should actually explain it to her so she doesn't treat it like it's a magic wand. Whether it, it makes it out there into the ether or not, but then there are things... It doesn't. ...things that I know uh Whovian, mm. but then there are things someone will say... Is it me? Every time she says Whovian, does it, like, just annoy the crap out of you? It annoys the crap out of me. ...will say, you don't pronounce it like that. I'm like, oh, no, it's my accent. They're like, no, it's an actual word. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's my accent. It's made up, it's not made up, it's not made up. And I'm like, right, okay, cool, cool, cool. Do you have a particular techno babble line that you'll never forget? Because the classic one is... I reversed it. Okay, fine, I'm done. I can't, I can't anymore, I can't. I listen to... No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, everything she's... Okay, everything she says is completely unconvincing. They're gonna, you, they're, you, you're gonna see, I think they're gonna show her uh, deliver a line, and I think it, I, I rest. The polarity of the neutron flow. No, I've reversed the polarity of the neutron flow. Reverse the polarity of the neutron. Flow. I have an ability to disregard and chuck in here, out there. If someone says it, I yeah, because you don't believe it. Again, again, you, your your performance is just lacks authenticity. I can get to the end. A blocked inside, pumping out methane and sulfides and trichloroethylene. Never mind the specialist material that hasn't been properly preserved. But those like so yeah. Uh, oh god, that's, that's fine. On that note, on that note, I'm going. Yeah, but like, look at that. Did you just watch that performance? Did you believe that she believed anything in it? I didn't. I don't. I can't watch anymore. I can't watch anymore. Okay, I'm done. It. It's aged badly. It's aged very badly. Oh boy, has that aged badly. And but why did it age badly? Because it aged freaking badly. My name is Sheila Birkin, the rabbi for another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah!